This is what 500 milliliters of sweat looks like. Compare that to 330 milliliters of soda pop. This is how much you can sweat in 15 minutes if you're an elite athlete working out in the heat. It's mostly water, and unless you've got some sort of metabolic disorder, it doesn't really smell like anything. And this is Louis Pasteur. He pioneered the field of microbiology, he's been called the father of germ theory, and he's most famous for proving that bacteria don't appear out of nowhere. Un, deux, trois, quatre. He's also French, and sometimes he smells like sweat. So, how is this possible if sweat doesn't smell? Well, Louis Pasteur has two different types of sweat glands, the eccrine and the apocrine. The eccrine sweat glands cover his entire body, and they produce the sweat that's used to keep him cool. The apocrine sweat glands are only found in specific areas, like the armpits or the inguinal region. These sweat glands make the same watery stuff, but with added proteins. Some of these proteins are bonded to stinky odorant molecules, but when they're bonded together, you can't smell the stinky part. The bacteria living in Louis' armpits are hungry for the protein, so they break this bond, releasing the odorant. Think of it like a candy bar, with the stinky part, the wrapper, bonded to the non-stinky part, the chocolate bar. To get at this delicious protein, the bacteria have to separate the stinky part from the non-stinky part. Then they eat the protein and discard the stinky molecule, which is now free to waft its way into your nose. And that's what smells. So, the guy who studied bacteria is also covered in bacteria. Hungry, littering bacteria. Which explains why it's not the French that smell, it's all the discarded odorant molecules from all the littering French bacteria that are living in their armpits. They're living in my armpits too. <laughs>